Well, uh, you know, God is great, and He is not just the God of the Bible. You, can have, you guys can have a seat. He's not just the God of the Bible, but He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And so He's the God of right here, right now. And one of the, the reasons why we know that God is so great is that his, He's still working in His universe right now. And one of the ways He's working in a powerful way is that He reaches down into the ugliness of, of people's lives, and He saves them. And recently he did that for Ryan. So would you guys say hello for, to Ryan? This is, a, this is a huge weekend for Ryan. Like as if this wasn't enough, tomorrow he and Tori are to be married. So it's an awesome, awesome weekend for them. So why don't you have a seat and we will warm the water up for you nice and warm. This is a big, big time. Um, I asked Ryan if he wanted to share anything with, with you, so I'm going to kind of be quiet and let him share whatever's on his heart. Well, what I just wanted to say was that it's kind of weird looking at this wall, even though I'm talking to Tori, but um, I really appreciate you bringing me to God because I don't think I would have ever discovered him if you didn't leave me here. So thank you. Awesome. Ryan's mom's right there family and his family to be or scattered through the church can't really see you all but it's big got Dominic over there what's up man Dominic I'm gonna get you in here one of these days too buddy this is a big moment well uh, would you guys uh, would you pray with me would you do that we'll pray for Ryan Um, Lord, it was just a couple, well, it was actually more than a couple months ago that uh, three young folks walked into this church, didn't know who they were, and uh, it's funny how you work, Lord. Of the three, this one here in this tank was the one who was not a believer, but yet he is the one you pulled on to find this church. That you used him to bring his family here. Funny how you work. I don't know the exact details of how you saved him, but I do know that he shared with me that he and Tori had some tough times, some tough decisions or tough times, things they were going through. They didn't know what to do, so he did what what I had suggested he do just like pray even though he didn't know who he was really talking to so he prayed to you and then you answered his prayers there wasn't a whole lot of theology in that other than you just became real to him you revealed yourself to Ryan and so for that we're very very grateful the way you save is mysterious, the way you save is diverse, but yet it's always beautiful. We thank you for this salvation, for this man. This man, uh, this is just the first step in a, a, a journey that he is about to go on. His new life with you, his new life with Tori, and as they begin to start their family, You've charged him, although a new believer, he is now yours, and you have charged him to lead that family in the way that they should go. And so, Lord, we would just ask that your great blessing upon this man, that you would fill him with understanding, with wisdom, with the knowledge of who you are, that you would help him to set his eyes upon you in all things, and you'd help him to lead his family well. I thank you for my new brother. The yeah, word says that all the angels in heaven celebrate when a sinner repents. So I know that there's celebration in heaven now for, him, for Ryan. I wish we could celebrate like they did. But one of these days, those of us that have said yes to you will be there 
and we'll watch as the angels celebrate when other sinners turn to you and repent. It's going to be awesome. Lord, I thank you for this day. Thank you for choosing Revolution Church for this time. We thank you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Amen. All right, Ryan. This is it. No turning back, bro. This is it. Jesus is the center. King and Lord. He says jump. You don't even ask how high. You just start jumping. You hear me? Who's your Lord and Savior? Jesus Christ. Based on that confession, I now bury you with Christ. And like him, you'll be raised to new life. Because you trusted in the mighty power of God that raised Christ raise Christ from the dead. I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.